Welcome back to our deep dive into the Zodiac Killer's complex ciphers. In our last episode, we explored the history and context of these cryptic messages. Today, we're going to delve deeper into one of the most infamous ciphers, which was only recently cracked. The Zodiac Killer is known for his complex ciphers, which he sent to the media and police. Disclaimer. The following content contains graphic descriptions of criminal activities. Listener discretion is advised. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are solely those of myself, Tammy D, the creator. I do not endorse or condone any of the actions or behaviours depicted in the true stories. The purpose of this podcast is to educate and entertain, not to glorify or sensationalise crime. These ciphers were a mix of symbols, letters and numbers and they have baffled investigators and code breakers for decades. The ciphers were a unique aspect of the Zodiac's correspondence. They were complex puzzles that the Zodiac claimed contained his identity, adding another layer of mystery to his crimes. One of these ciphers, known as the 340 cipher due to its 340 characters, was particularly perplexing. It was sent to the San Francisco Chronicle in November 1969, and despite the efforts of numerous cryptographers and coder breakers, it remained unsolved for over 50 years. The 340 cipher was a daunting challenge, a complex puzzle that seemed to defy solution. It was a testament to the Zodiac's cunning and his apparent delight in taunting the authorities. But what symbols did the Zodiac use in the 340 cipher? And why? The Zodiac used a variety of symbols in the 340 cipher, some of which were unique to this cipher and some of which were used in his previous ciphers. The symbols included letters, numbers, punctuation marks and other shapes and signs. Some of the symbols were the Zodiac symbol, which was a circle with a cross inside. This was the symbol that the Zodiac used to sign his letters and to mark his costume. It was also used in his previous ciphers and it was one of the most recognisable and distinctive symbols of the Zodiac Killer. The plus sign, which was a cross with equal arms. This was a symbol that the Zodiac used frequently in his ciphers and it was often used to separate words or sentences. It was also used as a substitution for the letter T, as well as a filler symbol to confuse the code breakers. The backwards K, which was a letter K that was flipped horizontally. This was a symbol that the Zodiac used only in the 340 cipher, and it was one of the most puzzling and mysterious symbols of the cipher. It was used as a substitution for the letter I, as well as a filler symbol to confuse the code breakers. These are just some of the symbols that the Zodiac used in the 340 cipher, but there were many more. Each symbol had a specific meaning and function, and some of them had multiple meanings and functions. The symbols were a source of clues and hints, but they were also a source of confusion and frustration for the code breakers. The symbols were a part of the Zodiac's complex and cryptic language and they added another layer of difficulty and intrigue to the cipher. But how did the codebreakers crack the 340 cipher and when? The codebreakers cracked the 340 cipher in December 2020 after more than 50 years of attempts and failures. The codebreakers were a team of three amateur cryptographers from different corners of the globe who collaborated online to solve the cipher. The code breakers were David Oranchak, a software developer from the United States who had been working on the Zodiac ciphers for over 15 years. He was the leader of the team and he was the one who initiated the collaboration and coordinated the efforts. Sam Blake, a mathematician from Australia who had been working on the Zodiac ciphers for over 10 years. He was the one who came up with the key idea that cracked the cipher and he 
was the one who developed the mathematical formula that helped decipher the message. Jarl van Eeke, a Belgian logistician who had been working on the zodiac ciphers for over five years. He was the one who created the computer algorithm that implemented the mathematical formula and he was the one who ran the program that produced the solution. The process and the timeline of cracking the 340 cipher were as follows. In November 2020, Sam Blake came up with the idea that the 340 cipher was not a simple substitution cipher, as previously assumed, but a transposition cipher. This meant that the symbols were not replaced by other symbols, but rearranged in a different order. He also came up with the idea that the cipher was split into two parts, each with a different transposition pattern. He shared his idea with David Oranchak, who agreed to test it out. In December 2020, David Oranchak contacted Jarl van Eyke, who had created a computer program called AZ Decrypt, which was designed to crack substitution ciphers. He asked him to modify his program to test Blake's idea, and to run it on the 340 cipher. Van Eyck agreed, and he quickly adapted his program to handle transposition ciphers. He then ran the program on the 340 cipher, using various parameters and settings. On December 3rd, 2020, Van Eyck's program produced a solution that made sense. It was a coherent and legible message, in which the Zodiac claimed responsibility for the Paul Stein murder denied the claims of other people who pretended to be him and hinted at his plans and target. The solution also matched the handwriting and the style of the Zodiac's letters and it contained some of the symbols and words that the Zodiac had used before. The solution was a breakthrough, a possible answer to the 50-year-old puzzle. On December 4, 2020, Oren Chak, Blake and Van Eyck submitted their solution to the FBI, who verified and confirmed their solution. The FBI also announced their solution to the public and praised the code breakers for their achievement. The solution was a historic moment, a long-awaited discovery that shed new light on the Zodiac case. These are the steps and stages that the code breakers went through to crack the 340 cipher, but there were many more details and challenges that they faced. The code breakers used a combination of intuition, logic, mathematics and computer science, and they worked together as a team to solve the cipher. The code breakers were a testament to the power of international cooperation and the unifying desire to solve one of the most infamous unsolved cases in criminal history. But what did the 340 cipher reveal and what did it mean? The 340 cipher revealed a chilling message from the Zodiac Killer in which he seemed to revel in the fear and confusion he was causing. However, the crack cipher did not reveal the killer's identity as many had hoped it would. Instead, it served to deepen the mystery of the Zodiac Killer, adding another layer of intrigue to an already complex case. Some of the contents and meanings of the 340 cipher were the Zodiac's taunts, such as, I hope you are having lots of fun in trying to catch me, and I am not afraid of the gas chamber. These taunts showed the Zodiac's arrogance and his apparent delight in the fear and confusion he was causing. They also showed his defiance and his lack of remorse for his crimes. The Zodiac's denial such as, I am not responsible for the recent bomb scare and I do not have a name. These denials showed the Zodiac's disdain for the claims of other people who pretended to be him and his desire to maintain his anonymity and his mystery. They also showed his unpredictability and his lack of a clear motive or agenda for his crimes. The Zodiac's hints such as, I will not tell you what my name is, and I am crack proof. These hints showed the Zodiac's cunning and his apparent enjoyment in the cat and mouse chase. 
They also showed his challenge and his invitation to the code breakers to try to crack his other ciphers and to discover his identity. These are just some of the contents and meanings of the 340 cipher, but there were many more. The 340 cipher provided some clues and hints, but it also raised more questions and speculations. The 340 cipher was a part of the Zodiac's complex and cryptic language, and it added another layer of difficulty and intrigue to the case. That concludes episode 11 of our series. In the next episode, we will discuss the possible theories and explanations for the Zodiac's identity, motives and disappearance. This will add another layer to this complex and horrifying narrative. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the Zodiac Killer's ciphers. We hope you found this exploration of the Zodiac ciphers as fascinating as we have. We'll see you next time as we continue to unravel the chilling chronicle of the Zodiac Killer. Until then, stay safe and keep exploring the fascinating world of history and crime with us.